This is Junior Trader and in this video we'll take a look at the NEO stock day trading preparation. If you like watching my videos please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel it will help me out a lot and with that uh, let's jump on to our NEO chart. So what I have up right now is NEO at the daily interval time frame and the first few things we'll be doing is drawing some key levels around our um, today's closing price so right over here so price closed at 12.88 dollars and um, some of the key levels around this area i'm looking at is the first one being um let's you know it's it's around twelve dollars let's just put it that way and i'll and i'll tell you why uh let's do 1202 and the reason i'm saying this is one of the support level is because um back in the month of may of this year 2022 this is where the stock formed its low and it's right now the stock price is very close to the um the low of that day um of uh, in the month of may and then if you go back the month of March, 15th of March, that's when also stock was very close, hovering around this uh, price point of uh, $13. So uh, this is the price right now is trending between uh, those two ranges, 1280, uh, sorry, at 1288, uh, between 13 and $12. So um, this is a support level uh, unless heavy sell volume comes in and that's when it's a problem that it can flush and break below this key level so if you can find your entry on the long side uh, in the intraday to trade NEO then make sure it's closer to these uh, levels of $12 or so with your stop loss right underneath that so that um, you cut your position in case the stock fails now you can't just take a position let alone by using this uh, daily interval chart in the intraday preparation um, you do have to use the daily chart for the reference to see where your uh, support or resistance levels are but then on the uh, intraday is when you will see the patterns like if double top is forming or double bottom is forming in case of going long if it's extended away from VWAP the volume is coming strong so those are the also criteria you have to watch for. Now on the up, upper side, let's draw some more key levels. So the first one is 1420. And the reason for that is I'm seeing this, um, the consolidation and it used as a support back in the month of May again. Then another key level I'm looking at is just right above that. So this could be around 1557. And that's because it was used as a support right over here in on the um, 30th of September and then also back in the June of 2022. So again, these key levels are never right to the spot pinpoint price uh, perfectly. These are you just give it a bit of leeway or um, some marginal error. A movement up or down but when the prices are closer to these key levels that's when you will uh, try to take your proper entries now these are the key levels closer to the price point I could feel that may come into play uh, definitely 1250 is another one based on today's and yesterday's uh, low of the day and it's kind of fits in as well with the candle in the month of May uh, where it just um, the, the lower wick that you see it's the opening price because the lower wick uh, has been covered by the green candle and so this is where the price open on that day now let's jump into our five minutes chart uh, for today and let's see if we see any key levels around this point because uh, if you're planning to trade the stock uh, we gotta watch for those as well in intraday now if you see how stock opened today it did go up but it ran into yesterday's high of the day as resistance and then it flushed that back down today right 
So this is definitely one of our resistance level. Let's put it as 1336. So now, and then, yeah, I think other key levels looks fine for, um, and even 1354 is another, or 1353, another key level. Um, and this is the, I, I would say this is the range, like, uh, if, if in the pre-market stock is trending down and when the market opens, the stock is closer to $1,250, wait for it to show some consolidation around $1,250 or, uh, let me draw it over here. So if the stock in the pre-market is trending down and if the stock market opens and stock doesn't go down, it goes up but then flushes down and keep going down, what you can do is watch for the price action at 1250 key level. If you see it's already extended away from VWAP to the downside and it's forming double bottom here, you can take a long closer to the uh, this key level of 1250 with the stop loss underneath that, not just like at 1249 or 1248, but put a stop loss with some margin like 1240 or 1235, just give some room for the stock to, to move around that price point. Um, so this is your long area for tomorrow to trade it that way now um let me clear this first now there's a chance you can play it on the short side as well so if you notice that the stock is being extended away from the vwap and it's running into these levels up here of resistance wait for it to form double top or wait for it to slow down like if you see small small candles forming around any of these levels instead of big ones and the speed of the stock or momentum has also slowed down so let me write it down here for you slow sorry writing is not that perfect slow momentum around that key level on the upper side. Then you can take short towards the VWAP. Um, usually what would happen is uh, these stocks would, if they are extending away to the upside from VWAP by lunch hours or after lunch hour for say an hour or 30 minutes, they would trace back to VWAP. It happens 80%, 90% of the time. I have seen it and um but yeah these definitely are the two key levels or the key level range to watch for tomorrow how stock behaves but definitely if the there sometimes when neo really needs to break through a range how it does it it oops yeah it just boom it rips through those key levels to the upside and if you see the strong big green candles are forming then i won't even suggest taking short at these key levels wait for it to reach the next key level and see if the stock is slowing down um, double tops are forming or the momentum is also slowing down then only take short at these positions but and only i can suggest that long position is only in, in play if it's around this key levels or the stock is forming double bottom at these key levels uh, but other than that um, yeah trades is safe uh, neo is a little bit uncertain right now and it has been just plummeting so long side really needs a strong volume to play into this stock um, but yeah um, this is what I wanted to cover in this video guys um, and if you feel this video was helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel it will help me out a lot and with that i'll see you in my next video take care bye